Anais Kassim is a Palestinian legal advisor and he joins us from Amman. Doctor, good to have you on the program. When we look at the territory that Israel has taken away from Palestine and this latest move to annex part of the occupied West Bank next month, it is considered illegal under international law, yet that does not stop Netanyahu. So does international law mean nothing? That is true, unfortunately, because international law has not been observed. It has been violated with the full support of the United States government, which stops any move uh, to rectify the situation and comply with international law. So there is a, a real assault on international law by superpower like the United States government. And that's why the Palestinians could not regain their rights. So what legal recourse is there then? The legal recourse until now has been neutralized because of that situation. The United States, through its weight, political, military, uh, economic, behind the aggression of the Israelis in their occupation to the Palestinian uh, land. And therefore, the Palestinians has to devise methods and ways which are uh, help, help their cause in recouping their investment uh, or their rights. And this might take a long time because the United States is really, uh, without any reservation, is throwing its weight behind the aggression. Yeah, yeah, certainly. How is this day, Naksa Day anniversary, being observed, especially as peace efforts have suffered setbacks, uh, in particular after the U.S. president's plan, the so-called deal of the century that further reduces Palestinian rights? This is, this is really a culmination of the Israeli U.S. assault on the Palestinian rights. It's a um, it is really the crown of the aggression that was committed by Israel with the full support of the U.S. in 1967. The declassified documents now of the U.S., U.K., U.N., Russia, and France, all of these declassified documents prove and establish beyond any doubt that there was a collaboration between the U.S. and Israeli government to do the attack and to unseat uh, Jamal Abdel Nasser, because at that time they thought or they fabricated that Nasser was uh, planning to attack Israel, and those declassified documents prove now otherwise, and they knew it at the time. Okay, we're going to leave it there, Dr. Anis Kassim. Thank you so much.